Hello Saberland, Vader's Vault here, showing off another one of our Imperial Knight Sabers. Uh, as you all know, we've done quite a few of these over the years. Uh, it being a standard issue Saber from the Legacy Comics uh, from Dark Horse, uh, drawn out by the wonderful Jan Dersema. Uh, we loved her original uh, concept of the Saber, uh, being very sleek and uh, no frills design, but at the same time very lethal. Uh, this is, uh, has always been our interpretation of that. Um, I, I liked the, the basic design, but I wanted to give it a little bit more depth. Uh, so I went and gave it an inner grip sleeve uh, to represent that area of the grip and the saber. Um, that does serve several purposes for us. It gives some topography to the design, uh, some different dimensions to it. Plus it also allows for uh, the whole hilt to be vents for the sound rather than just the standard uh, rear pommel vents, which there are several, but uh, the whole grip becomes a, a sound vent and it also enables you to actually feel it in your hand. Uh, it also allows me to mount the electronics conveniently to a, a sleeve uh, that slides right in and holds everything nice, neat, and tidy. Uh, we got the, the two switches, the main activation switch here with the anti-vandal, the auxiliary switch, and the two accent LEDs. This is our Mark V platform. And being that it's made for uh, a very simplistic version with the, only the two accent LEDs, uh, some people have requested it with none. Uh, they want to stick with just a basic no frills design. So the Mark V platform uh, filled that shoes. Uh, our Mark VI platform, which we do have one on the bench, uh, that is a house saver. It's going to be up for sale on the FX Savers forum in the next week or so. Uh, is going to have the radial bar graph. So it's set up uh, for more. Uh, advanced electronics installs, uh, the Crystal Focus version 6 uh, with the uh, the radio bar graphs going to be across the middle. We've done a couple of those. There are videos of them if you guys want to check them out. Uh, this one here is a special saber uh, in that it is the debut of a brand new font made w w from inspiration from our Imperial Knight saber design by Saber Baron. It is available at saberfont.com. It is the Imperial Knight sound font. Uh, and it is going to be going out on every single Imperial Knight Saber that we craft here at the Vault. Uh, it's a very cool font and we're proud to showcase it here. And uh, we'll get it powered on and show you guys. Uh, this is a Petit Crouton 2.0 powered Saber. Uh, it is igniting a Tri-Cree blue, white, red. Uh, the blue and white are wired for silver with the red for the flash on clash. And a white anti-vandal and a UV and blue accent LED. So we'll get it powered on here when we get the lights and show you guys the Imperial Knight and the Imperial Knight sound font. Alright, boot it up there. Anti-vandal switch comes on when you pull the kill key. And the indicator light blinks. Very beautiful shade of silver for that main blade, and the red flash is a nice dramatic difference in color. The font itself is a very metallic, sharp font. I think it goes really well with the uh, militaristic and lethal design of the Imperial Nightsaber. It is a very unique font in that it stands apart from other lightsaber sound fonts, but definitely is recognizable as one. Smith at vadersvault.com direct email and thanks again for watching from the vault